What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of First Think. I know it's Thursday night, so that means Thursday night football. You're talking about the Ravens. You're talking about the Bengals. You know guys like Dan Orlovsky and Damian Woody, a.k.a. Big Poppy, the notorious B.I.G. That dude, along with Kimberly Martin. We got to say Kimberly. Can't just say Kim. Yeah, they'll be on the show, but I'm starting it off with some supposed to start off. My man Wendy's in the house. Brian Wintour, basketball aficionado extraordinaire. Taking time out of his busy schedule to join the wall. I'm so touched. Hold on, Wendy. I'm getting emotional right now. I'm going to be up here this early. I really am. First takes it. Let's try. We'll stay 0 0 the first two minutes. And then look at Clay Thompson. Daniels, what is going on with that? Reynolds puts his hand on his jersey. Gobert had Clay in a headlock. Rain comes in there, a chokehold on Rudy Gobert. He didn't need to carry Rudy in a chokehold. That was, that was dangerous. And suspended for five games as a result of this altercation. The league called. Draymond Green's headlock slash choke on Rudy Gobert, a dangerous maneuver on the court. The league again acknowledged Draymond Green's history going back a number of years. And I think the length of it surprises the Golden State Warriors. Five's in the reasonable range. The league is sending a message. They're tired of this. You got to lay down the law. And I hope that Draymond get the message and come back to being the Draymond that we all have fell in love with. We've got Kimberly Martin, Dan Olavsky, and Damian Woody all joining the show pretty soon, but we begin in the association. Wendy, welcome to the show. The NBA has suspended Draymond Green for five games without pay for escalating an on-court altercation in Tuesday's game with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The league announced yesterday Green, one of three players ejected after a fight broke out two minutes into Tuesday's in-season tournament game. Woj weighed in on the league's decision. Listen up. The league called Draymond Green's uh, uh, headlock slash choke uh, on Rudy Gobert a dangerous uh, maneuver on the court, but also the league again acknowledged Draymond Green's history uh, in these instances going back a number of years uh, as a part of the severity of this five-game suspension. I think the length of it surprises the Golden State Warriors. I think it surprised many around the league. Uh, but five games for Draymond Green, uh, that'll cost him about $770,000 uh, in lost salary. This marks the fifth career suspension for Draymond Green in this first that spans multiple games. Green's first suspension came in the 2016 NBA Finals. Kept him out of game five of that series, and we know how I felt about that. It was a stimulus package as far as I'm concerned, handed down by the NBA. Of course, the Golden State Warriors, a championship, Wendy, but I'll get to you right now. Did the NBA get this suspension right? Did, did they come down with this decision? Was it the right decision? So, yeah, so uh, this was heavier than I thought it would be, Stephen. I was in agreement with what you said yesterday. I thought it would be multiple games, but I didn't think it would be this many. And the key, as Woj said, there and what you've said is that the qualifier that the league added, which was past behavior. Now I'm going to take you back to the spring. You remember back in April when they were in that uh, tight playoff series against the, the Sacramento Kings. Yeah. Draymond stepped or stomped or whatever you want on Demontis Sabonis, and you remember that 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 decision was a bit controversial. The idea that they would take him out of a playoff game for that move. But the reason they did it, and these were Joe Dumar's words. This was not something that was perceived. This was something that they said. They said, the reason you're getting suspended for this, Draymond, is because of your past actions. And basically what that now has become clear is that is a red line. Starting in that situation, Draymond Green now walks into every league discipline scenario carrying baggage. And he can complain about that, and the Warriors can complain about it, and he can look at individual circumstances. But that now appears to be the new standard going forward. Now I'm going to take you back a couple of days. That was uh, last week when Draymond got, got ejected in a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers where the referees went to the monitor and reviewed a hit that they didn't even call and decided to retroactively give him a technical foul. And he was up in arms about it after the game. And Steve Kerr was up in arms about it after the game. And I'm just saying to you, this is now the new reality for Draymond Green. The league has had enough. The referees have had enough. But frankly, Adam Silver's NBA has been less 
has been not as aggressive on in-game, uh, you know, fouls. They have, you know, my mind been a little bit soft. They've, they've let things go that would have been suspensions in past regimes or let things go with one game that would have been two. This is a totally against the grain. And this is the new world that Draymond Green... No doubt about it. Draymond Green was wrong. You and I are covering the NBA for as long as we have noticed plenty of fights that have taken place in practice in the NBA. What you don't see is it getting caught on film because somebody on the team filmed it and dimed you out and put it out there for public consumption. You don't see that. But there's an, a team alive that hasn't had fights, and I'm talking fist fights, in the NBA. It's just that that was caught on camera. And obviously, Draymond felt bad because he knocked Jordan Poole out. So we got that issue. But I'm saying that shouldn't count against this. You want to count Steven Adams? Fine. You want to count Sabonis? Fine. It seems to me like they're using everything to point the finger at Draymond Green as being out of control, when the one thing about him that has been out of control is his chirping at the officials. That has been out of control his entire career. The stuff that they're talking about now, that is not something that we've seen all the time from him or anything like that. It was excessive. He held his hand, his arm around Rudy Gobert's neck entirely too long. I thought it warranted a two to three game suspension, not five, but I'm not going to lose sleep over five. I was just in staunch opposition to Jay Williams saying it should have been 10 games. I think that would have been extreme since no punches were thrown. Well, he's not a victim, just to be clear. I mean, he I has that. earned what he's gotten right. here. And there's right. a long tape of borderline plays. This wasn't borderline. But there's a long tape of borderline plays in his career. And, you know, I will be interested to hear what he says when he comes back because he has, he has sort of claimed that he has been unfairly treated in the past. Stephen A, the reason he got suspended in the 2016 finals, as you, as you know, and you just said, it wasn't for that hit. It was for the accumulation of the flagrant fouls. It was past behavior 